Hello folks. Uh, last week I put up a little video about the treatment that we did at the fire ant, or at the uh, children's garden for fire ants. And I promised I'd talk to you a little bit about how we did what we did. Um, I treated, I marked about 50 mounds before I started. I did my treatments, came back and I found three mounds out of that 50 that were active. So that's about a uh, 93% reduction in the fire ant population. I thought I'd start with the punchline because I know everybody wants to know what I used and how to get those kind of results. And I'm not going to tell you exactly what I used. I'm going to tell you that I used a fire ant bait. I'm not going to tell you which one because I'm not trying to create a commercial for any of them. Fact is I've worked with all of them in the field, testing them in a scientific way, and I get the same kind of results from all of them. Anywhere from 85 to 95 percent reduction in the fire ant population. Some of them are faster, some of them are slower, and I'll probably do a video on how to choose which one you want to use. The real key to using a fire ant bait though is not which one I used, it's how I used it. And that's what I want to talk about today is how to get the best results from treating with the fire ant bait. I talk to people all the time. I get people all the time say, I tried such and so fire ant bait and it didn't work. I think I just moved them around. The reality is, if you do it right, you can be pretty consistent at getting 85 to 95% reduction in your fire ant population. So what's the trick? Well, it's pretty simple. There's two things that you need to have in order to get a fire ant treatment to work. First is you need to broadcast the bait and then you need to do it while the ants are foraging. When I say broadcast, what I'm talking about is taking a spreader or something like this and broadcasting over the entire area that you want to treat. Uh, the labels a lot of times have something on there about individual mound treatments. That does work, but it only kills the mounds you treat. It doesn't kill any mounds you don't treat and the mounds you don't see. Whereas broadcasting gets the bait out there, lets the ants find it, let them bring it back, and you don't have to spend so much time trying to find every individual fire ant mound and missing them. So broadcasting the bait uh, with a hand seeder like this is one of the important things. And then the other important factor is you've got to do it when the ants are foraging. Ants forage when the surface soil temperatures are between 70 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit. So the key is to go out there, put a little bit of bait out, wait about 15 to 20 minutes, come back. If you see fire ants foraging on that bait that you put out, then it's a good time to put, put out your bait. If they're not foraging, it may be too hot, it may be too cold. It's not so much the time of day, because during the summer, when it's really, really hot, the time of foraging might be in the evenings, at night, and early morning. When it cools off a little bit, it might shift to the day. It's that temperature that's key, and the easiest way to tell it is to put a little bit of test bait, and if the ants are hitting it, it's a good time to put it out. So, broadcast your bait while the ants are foraging, and you can get those kind of results with your fire ant bait. 